Alright guys, we just arrived in Singapore and this is the team. We're getting ready for the AMS residential program. Hi. It's a yearly event. It's gonna be held in Bintan. Right now we're in Singapore. We just landed. That's Kat. Say hello. Hi! I'm so Kat. excited. Hi, yeah. and that's Sharisa. Hello. Hey, hello. <laughs> yep. And of course, my brother Hi. Dion. Hi. Awesome right. man. Okay. We're gonna have some lunch and then after that we're gonna take a ferry over to Bintan Island. We're gonna check in to a very nice hotel, it's called Kasia Bintan. And we're gonna get prepared for tomorrow's session. I'll see you guys in the shower. Bye bye. <laughs> Alright, guys, we Hi. are here in Bintan. We are ready for showtime. Showtime. Okay. It is showtime. Yeah, I was given this opportunity uh, to be the ELP um, program manager. So basically, I was helping Iris to start off uh, with this uh, ELP program and basically to let it run smoothly. Like. That's, that's my role here. Yeah. <laughs> very, very good question. So basically, uh, what kind of get first, there must be some manager. So yeah, must people reporting to uh, this person. And we are looking at potential uh, leaders that we're not going to fill up with uh, the sus sus uh, sustainable planning. Like, so basically. And uh, first is that you must be actually recommended or nominated by the HOD. And subsequently, uh, we'll look at uh, how much, how long have you been in AMS, and also what are your experience and what are your what they call achievement in AMS tend to be based on the criteria. Yeah. So this award was actually awarded to uh, AMS uh, this year in February in India. So last year, um, this what, uh, HR Congress has uh, came to us and says, what actually has changed in AMS? So we actually won two awards. One award is actually um, we have come out with training programs for AMS, which is AMS Singapore is only two years old. We come up with a full sweep of a lot of trainings. And the other award that we're looking is was the ELP, because it's one of the uh, signature programs for uh, AMS. So it's basically for the mid-management. So we put this up for the HR uh, training congress. And basically they take a look and say that yes, because a lot of trainings forgot about the mid-management. They, they have for top management, they have for engineers. So the mid-management has a lot of uh, forgotten trainings for them? Uh, well, I would say to bring it to the next level will take a lot of effort and also uh, communication with the clients and also the uh, partners and also the team. Morning guys, it's day number two. So yesterday on day one was very intense actually. The team have actually done their proposal and their presentation to the top management. They spent about 10 months preparing for this project. It was very impressive, very proud of them. So good job team, good job, well done. So what's gonna happen on day two is we're gonna have a bit of team building activities. We're gonna have some outdoors and indoors as well. The team is on the way here. The moment they step into this room, we're gonna flag off an outdoor activity. We're gonna have a lot of fun in Bintan Island. We had a lot of fun, yeah. run around the whole, whole resort to complete the games, and then our team managed to win! Yes. Yeah. She's thinking right now. <laughs> now. This program is not only for mentoring and coaching. Actually, it's also to get to know all the regional um, um, leaders and how they function and then um, how to um, promote one AMS because everyone must have a common goal. 
So what Eunice is trying to say is that after 10 months, uh, this is one of the programs called the residential program where all the regional leaders will come to Bintan Island and have fun together, learn together and of course to mingle and bond together as a team. So I think it's a very good opportunity that all the leaders get to meet up and uh, become even stronger. Yep. Right? Correct? One AMS. One AMS. Alright, see you guys. Bye bye. Yep. Do you mind sharing with us uh, the experience of uh, uh, that you have been through for the past 10 months as a uh, part of the ELP candidate? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, yeah, well, very glad to share with some of my personal feelings with the, with the IDT and the company that I actually really uh, want to thank from my heart that I, I joined this program. I learned a lot from personal uh, how to coach myself and to how to coach my team. I practiced a lot and I, I learned from so many from the IDT team. So I think IDT is a very, very professional coaching firm. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> awesome.